Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Outskirts Battlegrounds Brawl. I am Dark Knights here with my co-host. Never mind. Let them know what's up. Never mind. Greetings and salutation. Welcome to the No Hope Show for Open Odyssey Nine in Outworld. We are in Kentucky, Mississippi, and getting hot, real hot. And we're getting started with the first match of the night. And we are starting off the night with a hot one. OPT Women's Championship match in the Champion Carnival. Live in Biloxi, Mississippi, baby. Comes the challenger, the number one ranked contender. Number one in the division all year long, Motoko Kusanagi. And the winner of the 2020 World Martial Arts Tournament and former OBD Dark Women's Champion. The is a major. It is a rematch from Makai, OBD Odyssey 6. And I know Motoko has learned from that last counter mine. The question is, will it be enough? Yes, because you also have to think that if the Motoko has learned something, the Genosaber has to have learned something as well. Motoko comes out to the ring. It is a rematch. Se seven months, yes, in the making. Yes, maybe even longer than that. Especially when Teresa was champion. This may go all the way back to when the Empire first really gained ground in the OBD. Especially when they started claiming titles. Speaking of titles, here comes the champion. OBD Women's Champion for over 320 days now. For all I know, maybe Palpatine has been deluding us all along into thinking that all these acolytes were the ones that he had chosen when he had just had this monstrosity lying in wait just to unleash upon the world. Of course, the Genus Cyber, or at least Palpatine, if the Genus Cyber is even capable of looking ahead, Palpatine certainly is. They are looking to Outworld where Ayane awaits the winner of this match. I mean, I honestly think she can't even feel pain, man. I mean, can you even register that with a thing like the Gina Cyber? I mean, look at it. No she emotion. certainly has not felt pain. She has been basically flawless in all of her matches. The only one where it looked like the opponent would maybe get to her was with that match with Lena Inverse six months ago in May. But other than that, and of course, the Gina Cyber turned that around fast. And yet, the Gina Cyber has not yet said a word ever since claiming the title. So we don't know if she can feel pain or not. Otako's gonna try it. Oh, the coach's gonna make her try. Prosthetics versus cybernetics. Now the question for Motoko is, what do you even do in this match? Like, what's your strategy? You can't out overpower her. You don't want to go toe to toe with her striking wise. You're not gonna make her submit. So what do you do? Honestly, if I were Motoko, I'd stick with my strength set and my strong suit, which is her legs. Her lower body level area is her strongest part of her body. Otherwise, the ghost pain would not be her finishing move. Hell, half of her move set is with kicks. The question is, will that even do a thing? That's the problem. Yes. And... I, I think for Motoko, you, you kind of, it's almost like wrestling a bear. You have to get within range of the bear so close that the bear can't hit you 
with its paws because you're too close for it to reach. Yeah, but it's in this. Oh! <laughs> It's not just the pause that you have to look out for. It's the T. Mm. Oh. oh, yes. Just like that. Just, okay. that oh. You see, don't try to strike with her because that's what I'm saying. Maneuver her. Outmaneuver her. You're more agile than her. Use that. Movable object. That got to her. Maybe she can't feel part, or maybe, maybe it didn't get to her. I don't know. Maybe she's short circuit. Oh, nice Russian leg sweep there. There you go. But she's already back up. Oh, look how easily she deflected that. Still can't put her down. There's the kicks you were talking about. But I don't think that did anything at all. But at the same time, you can't let your enemy know what you're up to, and you can't let them disable, you know, what you got to use. I mean, you got to be really careful. Uh-oh, now she's getting ready already. She wants to end this fast. Wow. Up. 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 Monaco counters. Oh. <laughs> she didn't even go fully down. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Outmaneuver her. Outmaneuver her and use your agility to surprise her. One, two. Don't don't waste time, Modico. Keep at it. You know, you would think that as tall and as bulky as the genus I was, that she would be as fast as say someone like Modico Kusanagi. But we've been wrong before, have we not? She's surprisingly fast for how big she is. Yeah. I mean, so is Darth Vader, but this chick right here is on a whole other level. Ooh! Odako, keep at it. Keep at it. Misses with that kick. Again misses with that kick. Oh. Denied that choke slam attempt. Like See, that's, that. what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Using her agility. Getting inside her range. Too close to attack. There you go. But you see mine, you see this is the problem right here. You can hit her, you can keep hitting her and keep hitting her. But she can just turn the entire situation around with one attack. She'll soak all that damage and then just do this. You know, it's almost as if she takes all of the damage that she takes and sends it right back. But almost and double the intensity. I agree. Yeah, kind of like Black Panther's suit. You know, it just soaks up so much that when it's got enough, it just kicks it out. And we saw that in the match with Sailor Moon, and we saw it in the match with Lena Inverse. Lena did a hell of a lot of damage. But one yeah. move, and that was it. Hell, I can still remember when she laid out Teresa in just two punches. Yep. That one jab rocked her, but that last one, it sealed the deal. Monaco down. What's Monaco Yo. doing? No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. She's too close to the ropes. Monaco, don't do that. What a way to make a statement for Lexi, Mississippi. Monaco wants to go into Outworld to face Ayane. Keep at it, and you will. Oh, no. Or won't you? Ah. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. See, you can't let her do that. It's almost like you have to have a flawless match where you don't get hit at all. Oh, what's she doing here? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, wait, this oh. is, this is something new. Oh, oh shit! Oh, shit. Ah. I think I, I felt my chair rock from all the way over here. I know mine did. Wow. Just like that. Wow. All that damage, just like that. One hit, that was it. 
after that, I believe that everything that we've seen up to this point is just but a small smidget of what she can really do. Good luck in Outworld, Ayane. You're going to need it. Yeah, you better call your family, call your sister, and hide your kids, and hide whoever you love and hold dear the most, because she's coming for you. Yeah, you better talk to Kasumi. I don't think what you did turning her down was the best idea. Oh my god. Look at all that. Motoko really got some good hits in, but this was it. That's all I'm it took. She even replicated her enemy's own finishing move, and it was still not enough. What do you do against this monster? I don't... I still don't know. Rom, you better give this girl some flowers for Valentine's Day, or I'm going to be <laughs> pissed at you. <laughs> Gina Cyber versus Ayane in Outworld. Make sure you watch it with us live. Damn right champion deserves her flowers good luck Ayane well Lodico has to kick her dust off or dust herself off excuse me because this is the semi-final of the Color Wars right here. Yep, and we're not wasting any time. We got a show to do. Let's get it on. LT just wanted to get it on immediately. Just wanted the ball out. Otoko was already out there. Yeah, that is a lot of disadvantage. Bad kind of thing is what just happened. We are on the road to Outworld, ladies and gentlemen. It is non-stop. It is the Olympic Games and the Outskirts Battle Dome. Sindel wants to stop this, but... Yeah. Well, enough. Oh. Two oh. is basically... Oh. right here. <laughs> Saturn... Sindel and Morgan are real good. Have to be the heavy. Uh oh, here goes Gabby. There's no way Bodico's even 50. Ooh. I don't care if you do have a prosthetic body. She's got the thickest thighs in the ring besides Sindel. Then there's uh, Morgan Ainsley, and you can't forget about Morgan. Oh, God! Now, Anna's in bad territory. For Team Purple, it is absolutely imperative. Oh, they need to eliminate people as quickly as possible. You know, it can't be just a slow All that pressure just having somebody sit on your face for a long period of time. Oh, she's going for it Ooh. again, but on it. Not this smart. Time. One, two, ah. go! <laughs> wow! What a reversal! Man. Anna has a way of doing these things. I tell you, Team Purple's in bad. Oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Not again! Yep. Uh -oh. That power bomb was reality, no. man. Now Gabrielle, what's Gabrielle doing? Uh -oh, Anna's oh going goodness. for the frozen fever. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I think the Gina Cyber's presence just now did something to uh, the space around the ring. It's either that or the Living Tribunal just pressed the button and just said to hell with it because I don't know what's going on. It's almost as if they're about to sink into the ring. Wait, there is a boat. Oh! Oh! 
Oh. Modico oh. really needs to stay away from the fighting. Is Sando the legal woman now? That's oh, Gabrielle. That's smart from Gabrielle going after the wounded Modico. I thought the referee was going to have a hard time in this match, oh. but I think oh. Modico. Damn. Nice comeback. Oh. Nice take for from Team Purple. Nice again from Saturn. Way to take opportunity. Team Purple better really do all the teamwork that is possible to do because they're down a woman and Modico just had that brutal match with the Gina Cyber. Nice show of force by Wonder Woman. The Team Red is undefeated in the color wars so far. I think it's amazing how short that Sailor Saturn is, yet she packs a very amazing punch. Boom! <laughs> okay, the space is okay now. All right, we do, people. But Saturn's in enemy territory now. Luckily for us, we don't feel these effects inside of the tower. That's what the barrier's for. Mm. Oh! Yeah, she's going to feel that one. Just out. Oh, she's going for another one. This is with it, though. Right on to the concrete. Oh. Ah. Reversal. Going for it again. Anna. Uh, no, Anna's not getting involved. Oh. And that's it. Very important elimination from Sailor Saturn right there. Oh! And a nice ambush from Gabrielle. One, two. Wow. Oh, here comes the wounded captain. How much can Modico do after that match? You're right. <laughs> you better take it one step at a time, soldier. If anything, I would tag in my tag team partner right now. Yes. Right now, right now. This was very bad scheduling timing for Team Purple right here. After that brutal match Modico just had with the OBD Women's Champion, the Gina Cyber. Short hit brutal, indeed. I think that match Gina Cyber just had was shorter than their first match in Makai. And I would have to agree <laughs> that was over a lot faster than I would imagine it to have been. And this is the scary question. Has the Gita Cyber gotten better? Then again, have we seen her full potential? Ooh! Monaco. Oh, this is bad. Oh, yeah. this is bad. Yes, this is not helping at all. How much can Modico possibly have left? Ah! One, two, Out. three. The answer is not much, and now Sindel. Team Purple one. just had the worst luck tonight. Three versus one. Can Sindel pull off a Luigi or a Rider 1? Especially when you have somebody like Lena Inverse waiting in the wings. Now, now, we don't call him Luigi no more if it's Mr. Luigi. I guess Mario would be Sir Mario. Oh! Hurricane Rana from Sindel. I'm sorry, I guess Mario would be Sir Mario. Only a one count. We know that the God Slayers will be in that 
Women's Tag Team Championship Battle Royal in Outworld. Uh, Team Red looking to pick apart the pieces right now. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, there will be a Battle Royal later tonight as well. Tuned for more. Sidell out. I have to say, ever since its conception, the Color Wars have been a hit. Yep. An absolute hit. And we couldn't I, have done it without you guys. And because it's been such a hit, this will be an annual event in OBT Wrestling. Just Once like the fall Outworld. comes, the color wars are here. Just and here like comes Outworld. Lita in first. Ooh. Uh-oh. In a pinch. Rely on all reliable. There's the cover. Sindel gets Ooh. in the point of elimination. And here comes the captain. Here we go, man. Sudden death round. Well, wait, no. Honor's still in this match. Sindel is all alone. Oh. 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 Whoa. Whoa. Lena didn't even need in. to go for the cover. Didn't realize what she did till it was too late. Lena Inverse still has, I think, the most powerful attacks of anyone in the division. I'm starting to see what you mean, and I gotta say, that was one hell of an impressive move. She came out like a missile. Do you sadly, think her attacks are even more powerful than the Gina Cybers? I don't feel like we've seen the true potential of any of these women. I feel like they've been holding out on this. But, sadly, there's another fact that we have to talk about. Team Purple is out. Out. So it's down to the final. Team Red versus Team White. That will be later tonight. Bye. Well... We're not wasting any time. We're getting right into it. It's the semifinal in the Color Wars. Team Yellow versus Team Black, who is on the brink. Yes, and they have to win this match. Otherwise, they are out. They are going home. Let's get it on. Oh! oh. You're in that elimination chamber match. You better watch the fuck out. Look, man. Scorpio made a statement with the RKO's. Now Dio Brando was trying to make it with the bro kid. I mean, Dio's in Outworld no matter what. He's in that elimination chamber. Oh! He's in the chamber? <laughs> oh, my God. Shane Soon, Shao Kahn, and Dio Brando. And more to come. Oh, no, not another one. Oh, my God. Man, Team. that's how you start strong. Oh. <laughs> Team Yellow is on a fucking roll. Oh, shit. Got this now. You know what? It, now I know. Team Yellow is, I feel like they are at the very top of the ladder. If not them, it had to be Team Blue. But to me, it is Team Yellow. And I feel like Scorpion has just inspired the other members of his crew to one up each other. These guys are going for more than just points. They're going for bragging rights. Well, can Luke find a way to come back? I think Luke did defend the Galaxian title against Dio Brando once earlier this year. I think he did too. I know he fought Pennywise. Oh. 
Luke's going for the cover, why not? He was a fighting champion. But how much damage did Luke take? It re he really should tag out. I also think it's amazing how two force of the team that he is a part of were his deadliest enemies once upon a time. One of them still is, if you ask me. Here they go. They're going up. And deal hey back. down. But he recovers, but Luke Kang's right there. Misses with that kick. Uh, what are you doing, Dio? That's not Ooh. the place to be. Wow, did you see how fast he moved out of the way? Maybe he used top stop. You know, being an immortal vampire over 100 years old, you tend to learn a few tricks of the trade. Dio went for the ball. Luke isn't going there. Ooh, nice jab. Ooh. I saw that one coming. He was ready for it. Oh, he was not that's ready it for that. Go. He was not. Oh, ready he's for saying, that. come on, Vader. Come on. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Wow. I see we got another Skywalker killer, though. Empire will be in the tag team battle royal in Outworld. Just like last year. Will they win this time? This feels a lot like Outworld, if you ask me. Chaos erupting everywhere. This is just the go-home show, ladies and gentlemen. We have a TLC match, a royal, uh, two Royal Rumble matches, and an Elimination Chamber there. And arguably, Last year's Outworld was one of the best pepper views of 2020. And you know, you got to think about where all these people were during that event. Some of these people weren't here at the time. Like Darth Vader, he was facing Luke Skywalker. I don't even think Shang Tsung was doing anything. The Empire were still tag team champions. Pretty sure they were. Here's the cover. Boy. Liu Kang, I don't know what the hell he was doing there. A little late for that. Oh. <laughs> Scorpion Ooh. said he's not happening. This match has just been total chaos. It's just everybody's in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Dio's in the corner. There's the tag from Vader to Shanks to Liu uh, Kang, excuse me. Well, oh, well, well, at least I thought we were going to have some normalcy in the ring. Oh. <laughs> and it's the end of the cover, boys. All this keeps the feeling. Yeah, Two it looks like it's the in the wings. Wow, this looks like pure Armageddon. Yeah! has been shining throughout the entire color wars. He's got to be the real MVP. He 
here comes Liu Kang. It is still a three on three match, it seems. No way, nobody on yellow got eliminated. Yeah, they're still fresh. Black is on the chopping block still. They really need a win right now. It's win or go home for them. Oh, oh you. That like might have been the take... best shot on Scorpion in this entire tournament. Yeah, but then again, did it amount to nothing? Because here comes Dio Brando. I got to say, those shoes of his got to be last for more than just Stardust for the Crusaders. There's the arm bar on Liu Kang. Rolls out of it. Never underestimate Dio Brando. This man is notorious in the battle royal circuit. Wonder what he's gonna be like in the elimination chamber. God. You remember that little match they had of his against Dio Brando on Death Battle? Lord have mercy. Could you imagine if he decided to drink some blood from the likes of Liu Kang, the Earth Realm champion? God, we might be here for a longer time than just 11 seconds. Darth Vader and Shang Tsung want the tag. You better, get, you better hurry. Dio is tagged in Hercules. Hercules oh. first. One. Oh, one, two. A four reversal, five, what is this? Man, it's the end, man, it's the end. This is just the go home show. You said it, go home, and somebody's going home tonight. There was no way around it. Hercules busts him open. More blood. Oh. He's adding insult to injury. Yeah, Liu Kang, you're in the doghouse tonight. Your dogs are barking. Ugh. You gotta tag in. You gotta tag in now, man. Don't try to be a hero. Tag in, Liu Kang. You have to tag in, man. Now Liu Kang is in exactly the wrong place. Now they're just taunting him. <laughs> wow. Wow. This is unlike Hercules. Yeah, I know. You think these guys are starting to have an effect on him? <laughs> I hope not. That's the last thing we need is Hercules to go wrong. Then what's Ayola's going to do? Oh, nice reversal by Liu Kang. That's a way to turn it around. But Liu Kang is still in the wrong mm. place. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh oh. What a way to play defense. Oh, oh nice kick out by Liu Kang. He knows the stakes. But he's got to get out of there. That's oh. why. <laughs> That's why. Oh no, oh, not man. another one. Three times the charm. Scorpion heard what Doc Schneider said last time. He says that's gonna be you soon. Yep. 
That's it. Wow. Oh my God, we might just have a match to see who can complete the most RKO's. We don't need that. Then again, yes we do. This ain't OBD Kumbaya. This is OBD Brawl. There's the tag to Dio. You know, he has had the most in-ring time in this entire match for Team Yellow. He wants all the shine tonight. And this is completely in his character, if you ask me. Only a one count. Wonder would Shang Tsung draining the Obrano so affect him? I mean, maybe he could just drain somebody and he would be okay. Maybe we'll find that out in the elimination chamber. This is a little preview of that match between these two right now. Yes, sir. And within that monstrosity, there will be no escape. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. He's going for another attempt. And he gets it. Check some out. Hercules now looking to finish Shang Tsung off. Oh. One. Look at the straight, the Hercules. Three. Oh, no, oh. he's going for a fourth. <laughs> Overkill. As we used to say in Killer Instinct. Ultra! Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, oh, Vader, he's looking to retaliate. <laughs> that was in the doghouse. He is by himself. It is not looking but good. But Savage Press distracted the referee. It's not looking good for young Anakin Skywalker. Well, the, the Sith Lord formerly known as Anakin Skywalker. Oof. Whoa. Talk about busting. It is one against four here. We can just get through this match. Ralph Vader, he can be really dangerous in a clutch. Darth Vader fighting like a man possessed here. He has to. Oddly enough, he is no stranger to fighting multiple opponents at one time. Yeah, but this is the last place you want to do it, right here, right where he is right now. And again, he's never Ooh. fought a demigod, a hell spawn, a vampire, and a Dathomirian Zabrak Sith Lord at the same time. Oh, Scorpion. Oof. Oh. 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 That was a hard toss into the steps yeah. by Hercules. You know what, though? If it hit him where I think it hit him, he didn't. Oh, oh, he felt that. Though. 
He definitely felt that. <laughs> Darth Vader repays the favor. Hercules and Darth Vader in the power struggle of their lives outside of the ring. Oh, what a hell of a choke slam from Darth Vader. Hercules kicks out. I really thought he was out after that. Did you see how far he threw him? Team Yellow is looking for a sweep here. That was ridiculous. So much for a clean sweep. <laughs> Savage Press just threw him onto the steps. And it is not unusual for Sith to turn on each other. It is within their nature. It is what makes them strong, but it is also their greatest weakness. Savage press now. Oh, Vader reverses. And this is some. Oh. I guess you could say Vader got a leg up, huh? What's he doing oh. here? Ooh. Oh. Ooh. There's the power bomb. One, two, that's three. it. Yellow versus blue in the final. Here we go. <laughs> yep. Guys better get rested up. We finally get to see who the top color is. The top dog. Nicely done by Team Yellow. Scorpion didn't even get in the ring. Congratulations, Team Yellow. It's yellow versus blue in the men's color wars final. But this batch, a little preview of the Royal Rumble. He's yep. going to be in it. You know the rules, everybody. The last one standing will enter the Rumble at number 30. First one out must enter at number one. Dio Brando won last year's battle. Did he not? Leo Brando and Punto won, won this last year. Neither one of them won their respective Royal Rumble match. So, just because you get that number doesn't necessarily mean you're going to win. You got to use that number wisely. At the very least, don't enter number one. <laughs> don't enter number one. Yeah, but somebody's got to be the goose. That's the way the world works. Somebody's going to be the goose. Bayonetta was actually the runner-up in last year's Women's Royal Rumble. Yeah, she made a lot of waves. But then again, Sindel made some of the most waves in that entire Rumble until the Gina Cyber just came in and kicked Bayonetta out. Threw her out onto the steps. Yeah, that was dirty as they come. 
And the rest is history. Damn, and that was one hell of a third, too. Little preview for the rest of the division for the rest of the coming year. I kid you not. Here comes Cetrion, number 10 player in the division this year. Team Green out relatively early in the color wars, but let's see what she has in store in this match. El the God of Light and Virtue, the daughter of Kronika and sister of Shinnok, Cetrion. Who will be out at number three? It's been a long time since we had an over the top rope battle royal. There will be another one of these in the men's division later tonight, so make sure you stay tuned. I feel like it's been even longer since we had a true eight pack battle royal. Under thighs herself. Yep. Former member of Team Blue. You know, you really got to watch her too because Motoko Kusanagi is not the only female in the OBD with dangerous kicks. a match like this different rules but a match somewhat like this at brawler's ball let's see if she can keep up that momentum and you know i feel like ever since she's come here she has found more enemies than friends team rainbow getting eliminated midway through the color wars and you know being a quote-unquote daughter of thanos i would assume that that comes with the territory Hey, she did better in that event than he did. Damn straight. Men's Team Purple going out so fast is probably one of the shocking stories of that tournament. Well, we already know Poison Ivy's going to be busy in Outworld. But of course, it's the Royal Rumble. You enter it. Imagine if she went in at number 30. I could see her taking it, too. I could see her winning the Royal Rumble. Damn. Imagine if it's Empire versus Empire at Ragnarok. That would be an OBD first. I think I know who Palpatine would choose, though. Either way, he wins. This is just a hot dog. Sailor Moon! Usagi! Sailor Moon took on the Gina Cyber in Troy. She had a few good hits, good sequence, but then uh, one hit, that was it from the Gina Cyber. And you know what? She also managed to bring along a few friends for the ride to the outskirts battle zone. Yes. 
We have much to be thankful for as far as she's concerned. Very much so. We hope you had a happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Lord knows we did. I had plenty of dressing. It was delicious. Zena, one of the MVPs of the Color Wars, even though Team Black did not win. You know, there's Scorpion, and then there's Xena. Of course, the God Slayers will also be in that Tag Team KO Battle Royal in Outworld. Wow. Everybody's got a busy schedule this month, do they not? Never mind. Zena earned her team's way into that match. And Gabrielle, too. I mean, hey, she's about to be in the Color Wars final. She has earned her way ever since her first match with the original OBD Women's Champion, Teresa of the Fate Smile. But I got to say, that second match she had with her, that was the one to end it all. When she put her through that damn table. Did Zena put Teresa through the table, or did Teresa put Zena through the table? I think it was Zena putting Teresa through the table. I could Somebody drawing a blank. We could argue about this all night, though, just like who shot first, Han or Greedo, you know? <laughs> the match is up on the channel, by the way, so you can answer our question. I may look at that after this episode. This is going to be a great night. And we are only getting started here in Biloxi, Mississippi. Yes. Yeah. Now, if I were Ayane, I would go back to Kasumi after this match and reconsider. Yeah, I would too. Nobody wins when the family feuds. You know, I, don't, being... I don't believe in halves. Not when it comes to family. Kasumi being captured by Palpatine for months. He released her on condition that Ayane cash in her money in the bank contract for Outworld. Not in a surprise. Ayane did so. Now Kasumi says she's going to win the Royal Rumble and hopes to see her sister at Ragnarok. Do you believe that, that be much Do you believe that she is fully recovered? Because you never know. I don't know. With, I don't with know. A guy, with a guy like Palpatine, you got to think about how dangerous and diabolical he truly is. He might have something implanted within her, kind of like what he had implanted within the clones during the Clone Wars when he executed Order 66. He always has a trap set somewhere. I'd want to talk to Vegeta as well. Yeah. So well, he's good. got his own problems right now. I don't think he can talk to anybody except Jedidoma. And that's when he allows him to speak. Yeah, you might not want to get on the other side of that rope, doesn't You might want to get back in the room. Now, Kasumi, her promise will be much easier to fulfill if oh, she wins this match and comes in at 30. Oh! Oh! Is that it? Yeah. No, oh, yes! Cetrion oh, wait. is... Damn. I was looking Cetrion, at Cetrion. Cetrion's out. She will enter the Royal Rumble at number one. Wow. So we know who our number one entrant will be. It will be Cetrion. Ooh, what a hell of a move from the mother. That did not take long. No, it did not. And I gotta remember, this is an over-the-top battle royal. This is not a traditional eight-pack where you win by pinfall or submission. Yeah, the Moon's in trouble now. You gotta throw your opponent over oh, the ring. Oh, 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 oh. 
sorry, over the ropes. Seven competitors still in the ring. We got a lot of different. Oh, players. oh, oh, oh! Sailor Moon still on the apron. We got a lot and of. She saves players. herself. We got a lot of different colors in the ring, ranging from black to blue to yellow. Rainbow, I guess. Color Wars ends at tonight. Team White versus Team Red for the women's final. Team Blue versus oh. Team oh. Team Blue versus Team Yellow in the win in the men's. So and now close. Ivy is in trouble here, but she gets back in. Thirty women will compete to face the Gina Cyber or Ayane at Ragnarok. So much going on, it's hard to keep track of it all. Seven competitors left. Cetrion has been eliminated. She will enter the Royal Rumble at number one. Oh, what's paying oh. uh, Ivy's oh. out. Now Kasumi's got Usagi on the ropes. What's Kasumi doing here? Uh -oh. oh, Kasumi eliminates Usagi. We are whittling our competitors away. We're down to four. That fast. We're down to three. three. Triple three. So many two eliminations. She has don't a promise to keep, but don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. Always turned her back at the worst time. Uh -oh. I'm talking for Gamora. If you're going to eliminate anybody, now is the time. And she oh. does. Gamora is in the driver's seat. Oh. Being the daughter of Thanos, I bet she went through some grueling training growing up. Oh, nice counter. Very nice. Oh, the strength of Zeta. You know, this is a match I never thought I would get to see. Who will enter the Royal Rumble at number 30? We are down to two. Oh, it's Cena! Capping off her outworld season in the best way possible. Man, well, almost good. the best way possible. She's been moving up like, like very fast. I can't believe how fast she's been moving up. Kasumi with two eliminations tonight. Cetrion will enter the rumble first. 
and it is Xena, Warrior Princess, who will enter number 30. The Warrior Princess staking her claim in the Royal Rumble. But the ladies better watch out. So Zeta is number 30, Royal Rumble. Now it's time. That you've all been waiting for the Men's Color Wars Final, Yellow versus Blue. And because this is the final match, we let Team Yellow take a sense of being. <laughs> oh yeah, we got to. And it's since it's two undefeated teams, ladies and gentlemen, LT has made it official. This is winner take all. Win or go home. And you can best believe somebody's going home. It's sudden death as Outworld moves. Now, we can't really say Team Blue or Team Yellow anymore. It's really Team Scorpion versus Team Goku. Yeah, but look who you got on that team. You got Dio. This man's going into Outworld in the chamber. Oh yeah, he's really been like the right hand of Team Yellow. And then you got Hercules, and then you have Savage Press. Strong men and tanks. And you got our number 10 ranked fighter in the men's division, Captain Falcon on Team Blue. Kenshiro, former OBD Dark Champion. And Superman who has done well in this, in this event. Yes, he has been very great on the defensive side. And I also want to say the same for Scorpion. <laughs> so this is it. This is the match you've been waiting for. And I can't wait for it either. I expect a war. Scorpion is about to arrive. He will also be in Outworld in the TLC match. And you know he's got a score to settle with Dark Schneider. You damn right. <laughs> I'm sorry. No matter what happens here tonight. I expect nothing but chaos and carnage. Now Scorpion is, I would say, no matter what happens here tonight, he is the MVP of the Color Wars. He's had more eliminations than anybody else. Oh yeah, there's no doubt about that. Nobody else can take that spot. His teammates are waiting for him. I have a feeling we're going to see him in the Royal Rumble, too, regardless. Yeah, pray tell what number he's going to be. We don't know uh, who will be first and last in the Men's Rumble yet. That's coming up. Our Women's Color Wars Final will also be coming up. And Jetta versus Luke. That's the main event. What a go-home show. 
you also have to remember after each match, there's going to be a fatal four way to determine who is going to be the. I'm sorry, I just drew a blank. Go ahead, <laughs> continue where I left off. Overall down. winner of the Color Wars. The overall one. I was gonna say MVP, but then I got a little brain fog, and I was like, <laughs> "We already know who the MVP is." Scorpion rocketed up the ranks because of this event. Being a Netherrealm Spectre, you can take a lot of punishment, and you can deal it right back. Well, Team Yellow is out. We now await their opponents. Team Blue. And I gotta say, between both teams, they really have not taken a lot of losses in this tournament when it comes to numbers. They usually stand strong with three or more at the end of the night. The anticipation is killing me. It is a sprint to Ragnarok from here on in. So be sure to tune in every week. And to be completely honest with you, I kind of wanted it to go this way and it went exactly as I expected. And I usually don't get what I want, but I'm glad I did. Team Blue looks ready. Captain Falcon, Kenshiro, and Superman. The top two teams are getting ready to battle to see who is the best of the best. I really don't know who to root for here. I don't either. <laughs> I don't either. Yeah. Oh, Captain gosh. Falcon, go ahead. Do you think reality might warp again? I'd be surprised if it didn't. Yeah. Captain Falcon got his rumble spot taken from him by Show Duff last year. I don't think that's going to be the case this year. <laughs> yeah, I almost forgot about that. And he got payback soon after that. At a later date. Captain Falcon has just had a magnificent year. Between the wins and the losses, yes, he has had a lot of historic moments this year. And he is not the only one who has had done a lot this year. Between Kenshiro, Superman, and Son Goku. Now, Goku's been in a bit of a slump this year, I have to say, but this tournament has rocketed him back into the conversation yep it's almost like he's back to his old self now we await Goku's arrival You know, besides his accomplishments in the OBD, we really don't take into account all the things he's done within his own universe. This man is a world tournament champion. This is before the outskirts Battle Dome universe was created. And he has saved the world countless times. But will he lead his team to victory one final time? Gotta say, he's looked better than he has since he was champion in this tournament. I mean, I should say, he has not looked as good as he has in this in this tournament since he was champion. It's the best I, he's looked since then. I would have to agree. Although, I would have to say, if you also look at his track record, 
more than half the time he is the cause of more than half his problems <laughs> I mean all trust me when he has a bag of sensu beans he will give his enemy a sensu bean just to give him a fair fight that's not always good well, that comes with the territory of having a swelled sense of pride and the IQ of a raisin sorry Goku <laughs> you're a great fighter but you're not a strategist You know what? I'm not going to judge his parenting skills. We don't have time for that right now. <laughs> should take a, a... When you talk about that, he really should take a, a page out of Lena Inverse's playbook and just finish them off, regardless of the destruction he causes. Damn. That was Speaking of Lena, we'll see her a little later. That is true. Alright, here we go! Oh! Ooh. Ooh, Falcon Punt! Oh. Another one! Can he do it again? Do you think he can do it again? Ah. Captain Falcon going for the pin. What a tank Dio is, though. That's gonna help him in the chamber. Usually yeah, it's over. Dio coming out with those kicks, but. To the Hell yeah, and that's usually hard. I guess the guy like Dio Brando can stop time. Now Dio seems to be shaking off the cobwebs. And you know, that's oh, not, that's not what I'm talking about. Damn. Oh no, now the Falcon's in trouble. And let's not forget, never mind, these two are no strangers to each other. They had quite a beef. Not too long ago. Now it's Dio pinning Captain Falcon. Goku in to break up the pin already. Savage makes him pay for it. And that dude was tall. Dio sizing Falcon up. Mm. Pedigree time though. Uh, Falcon says no. Denied. Oh shit, he's going for a fourth. Loading up. Ooh. You know, Dio and Falcon have taken so much damage already, they should both tag out. And we're not even yes. a minute in. I love how these teams are getting straight to the point. They know how serious this match is, but they know why they're here. There's no point in wasting any more time. Falcon makes the smart move, tagging out. Kenshiro setting Dio up now. Kenshiro's smells blood. These two have no shortage of history either. <laughs> Ooh, damn. Okay. Team Blue, magnificent Ooh. teamwork. They get the first elimination. All those punches, all those kicks, well done by Team Blue. The first elimination that couldn't have been done at a faster time or a faster rate. What an end to Dio Brando. Now Hercules is looking to make Kenshiro pay. Uh oh. No. Denied again. Too early. Champion versus champion. Well, former champion, I might add. Uh oh. Hercul Hercules, the former tag champion. Kenshiro, the former dark champion. Captain Falcon, ever watchful. Now there's the pit. Hercules out at two. Kenshiro is focused and determined Ooh. here. What a boot to the face by Kenshiro. Hercules still resilient, but he has to get out of that territory. You're in the wrong place. Being the son of Zeus, I think he can take a little bit of punishment. The man is a former OBD Tag Team Champion. Ooh. Kenshiro is getting the better of him here. And if you're Hercules, you don't want to strike with Kenshiro. Ooh. 
Use your Man. strength, use your power. He tossed him. Oh! That's Ooh. what I'm saying. That's what I'm oh. saying. Ooh! First blood of the match. Wow. And just like that, Team Yellow is down to two. Kenny is going in, man. Mm. Team Blue working very well here. Wow. Like, yeah, well, yeah, that's no, smart. No, like, I've never seen Team Blue down this bad. Have you? I think you mean yellow. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't either. I'm stunned. I'm stunned. But you know, it had to happen eventually. One of these teams had to be at the top, and the other had to be at the bottom. It's sad to say it is Team Yellow. Yeah, it's going to be sad either way. Somebody's got to... Oh! <laughs> uh, Scorpion makes Falcon pay. And he's about to make Kenshiro pay. Any, I would tag in. And you got two great options by the ring. Superman and Goku. But well, he's on a roll himself. <laughs> Darth Savage yeah. slammed into the apron. And either choice is a great choice. Captain Falcon a little dazed after what the Scorpion did to him. Yep, he tags. Oh, I thought he was going to tag. Is he going to tag? And he does. He tags in Superman. The wait is over. These two know strangers to each other. That's where damn near everybody in this match has a little bit of history. Superman and Savage feuded for many months last year. And here we <laughs> go again. Superman was looking for payback from Ragnarok last year. Payback's a bitch. What a capital B. Kenshiro on the defensive. Nice job by Kenshiro, but Darth, I mean, Savage Press kicks out. And now, but I think he's about to get punched in the face. Ooh, lights <laughs> out. But he still kicks out. Scorpion got the better of Kenshiro out there. Oh, Superman would have been eliminated if this was the Royal Rumble. Uh -oh. And now Savage uh -oh. is about to fly. Oh. What a match. <laughs> what a match indeed. I cannot believe what we are seeing. There's chaos all around us. But if I'm Savage, I really do want a double team right now. You gotta use that. Yes, unfortunately, he does not have his brother by his side. That would be the perfect combo in a match like this. But they are not the same color. I didn't mean to say it like that, but it is what it is. Superman now. Darth Damn. Maul off the barricade. Darth Maul. <laughs> Savage Damn. and Press off the barricade. Oh. Oh. oh! oh! Team Yellow is in bad shape. Oh! Really bad shape. Now Scorpion is alone, but... We have seen what Scorpion can do alone. Yeah, Superman's still fresh. Wow, I, I can't believe how dominant Team Blue has been in this match. Yeah, man. It's like they saved their best for last, like they were saving it. Like they were playing this whole time. How much does Scorpion have in him? Oh, well he has that. 
He has that. Two. He's already back up. And now he's retaliating. Goes for the pin. Will this be it? One, two. Captain so Falcon looks a little winded. So far, this is the best match of the night. He tried again. Superman's on to his tricks. Superman obviously did his homework here. Now Scorpion setting Superman up. Get over him! And there's the KO! Oh yeah! Yeah! It's time. Let's go. Scorpion showed off a little bit. You don't want to do that with Goku. Uh-oh. He wants to seal the deal. I think they want to end it with a bang. Big bang. Team Blue wins the color wars. <laughs> you know, kudos to Scorpion for getting an elimination there, but Team Blue really brought their A game to this. Well, at least that's it for the men's division. Well, not quite, because we're about to see something else. Yes, the final true. twist. Team Blue wins, but there is one more question left to settle. Who's going to be the overall winner of the Color Wars? We're about to find out right now. It's time for a Fatal 4-Way Extreme Rules. Let's go. Right. Enemies. I mean, friends are about to become enemies. And it's about to happen right, right now. now. Fight. So after you just win the event, you now have to fight your own teammates. Mm. <laughs> Fate is Lim a cruel mistress, is she not? The Olympic Tribunal does feel like a troll at times. Sometimes I think he just does this all for his own amusement. Oh! One hell of a kick by Goku. Captain Falcon. Wait a minute. No kids you wrote in Superman outside. You know Goku, he's like, no hard feelings, but I gotta win this. History with damn near everybody in the ring, say Kenshiro. Now, Superman, did you see how he, he beat Kenshiro out in a striking contest? Damn straight. Oh, what a kick by Captain Falcon. Save being a Kryptonian, he knows his own variation of martial arts straight from his own. Oh, the Kameha Kameha. Oh. Damn. What a clothesline by Kenshiro. Captain Falcon right back. Who 
Boom will get the title shot of his choice. Captain uh -oh. Falcon's going in. He wants to retaliate for that Kamehameha. Oh. Oh, who saw it? Mm. <laughs> Captain Falcon and Goku going at it again. Man, they're going down that easy. Feels like the tensions exploded. Like they they wanted to go at each other this whole time. I feel like Goku has a lot on his chest and he is ready to unleash and has been ready to unleash for a long time. It's been a long time since that man has had a belt around his waist, is it not? Oh, Superman off the steps. Uh oh, now he's in uh -oh. trouble. Oh. Ah. It feels like it's been forever since we've seen that. Well, what else we're gonna see? Nobody has been eliminated yet. Now it's Superman and Kenshiro in the ring. I gotta say, the fact that Kenshiro is hanging with Superman is a testament to his ability. The man has really grown. Oh, it's payback uh -oh. time. Oh. <laughs> oh, Captain Falcon's eliminated. We are down to three. Oh. You know, if I, if I were Goku, I'd just wait around and let them kill each other, but that's not him. Yeah, I don't know what that was. He should have waited. You don't want to waste your energy in a match like this. Man's got plans. Superman, <laughs> right? <laughs> Did you see that? He is. He is. Oh! Now Kachiro and Goku going at it. Kachiro interrupted the Kamehameha Ooh. and he beats Goku to a pulp for it. What is this man? Oh, that was a nice dodge. It's just an all-out slugfest right now. Oh, catch you off the post. Superman off the apron. Yeah, even I felt that. Oh! Goku is taking some damage in this match. Yes, but you know what they say about those Saiyans. The harder they fight and the more damage they take, the stronger they become. Look at the power wow. of Superman. Ooh. You know, Superman wanted to fight Goku in Super Saiyan Blue on the Death Star. Yes, that chance. Oh, that's it. We're down to two. It's the rematch of the century. And Superman got the drop on Goku here. Oh. We are down to two. The winner gets the title shot, the loot of his choice. The loser faces Asura in Outworld. Oh. <laughs> Superman wanted to fight Goku in Super Saiyan Blue. He's somebody, getting what he wanted. Ooh. Somebody transport us back to the Death Star because I'm getting deja vu flashbacks. 
Remember how Goku treated him in the tournament earlier this year. Ooh, part three, baby. That was Goku's first match this year, as a matter of fact. It sure was. Ah, oh, you waited too long, Goku. You waited too long. Now Superman is going to old reliable. Yeah, he wants this. Goku is still in it. Who do you think has the durability advantage? That might be what matters the most here. Well, you also have to take into account we are under a red sun. Well, no, we're not. A yellow sun. A red sun. This, we were under a yellow, a red sun. This match would have been over five seconds ago. Technically, it's a white sun. It just looks yellow because of our atmosphere. Oh, yeah, that's right. A little science, but oh! oh! The only science that matters here is how fast did Goku slam into that mat like that. And suddenly he is in big trouble. You gotta remember he can't stay in that form for long because the stamina drain is intense. But unless he's using his perfected Super Saiyan Blue form, which he could be using, it takes away all of the drain. Oh, Superman just let him do it. And I've been wrong before and hopefully I am. But it's almost like Superman dared him to make him bleed. And now Superman's looking to finish the job right here. Oh, mm. Goku caught him. Can Goku mount a counterattack? He's tenderizing him up. Oh. Goku! Yes, sir. What a finish, too, with that Kamehameha wave. Goku tanks the punishment and counter attacks. We move the furniture, scramble the eggs, and batter the pancakes. Superman got toasted. Superman will face Asura in Outworld, but your Color Wars champion of 2021, Son Goku. Wait, did you just say what I thought you said? Color Wars winner, and yes, Superman versus Asura is on. Damn it to hell. Goku is the winner of the men's Color Wars in 2021. What a comeback from Goku. So do you think the Super Saiyan Blue curse is over finally? Perhaps it is. But for now, we got to find out who's going to enter our men's Royal Rumble at number 30 and number 1. Somebody's going to be the goose. Or as we also say, the gopher. Rocky Hotball was the first one to say he was entering. You also got to remember, he has had an impressive run when he first got here. Although he has taken a few losses. I mean, can you remember a time when this man had the audacity to step in the ring with Shao Kahn? And this is before he became the Galactic Champion. This man also managed to join up with Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He even managed to put aside his differences with his former enemy, Show Nuff. And who would have thought Show Nuff would have a change of heart? I know. The things that have we have seen ever since this conception have been mind-boggling. So Baki's out first. Who's coming out next? Link. <laughs> Now here's somebody we haven't seen in a long time. It's good to see him. The hero of Hyrule. Bearer of the Triforce of Courage. And Princess Zelda's secret admirer. Yes, I'm talking to you, Sheik. 
Is it really that secret in the OBD? No, it really ain't. Man, I think he wants her to stop dressing like a man. Hey, no woman, that's a man, baby. You damn right. But fighting in a dress might not be the most practical thing to do. Elsa and Anna seem to do it okay. Speaking of Sheik, Zelda, Slash, we will see her after this in the Women's Color Wars Final. Against Team Red, and the winner of that match will face the respective teammates in the Women's Division Battle Royal for bragging rights and be able to decide which champion that they want to choose to fight of their choice. And after that, Luke versus Jetta. We are are far from done ladies and gentlemen nope it's been a long night and we ain't done damn it so link is in the royal rumble who is next oh. it's been a long time since we've seen this guy too we've seen a lot of comebacks tonight ain't we Dressed in red tonight. Now this man right here had quite the rivalry with Captain Falcon early into the OBD brawl when we first got started. <laughs> and I think in the last match, Captain Falcon took the L. Then there was that match with Deku. Yeah. From what we saw in the chat, everybody seemed to think that they were pretty evenly matched until Bison got the ultimate drop. Bow down, peasants. The Lord of Shadowland is in Biloxi, Mississippi. will be entrance number four. Ooh. Yes. Okay. Ooh, you feel that? It just got cold in here. He's watched Scorpion do so well. He wants to do well himself. He looks like he needs business. I wonder whose freezing power is greater, Sub-Zero or Elsa's? That's a good question, especially with that medallion that Sub-Zero has around his waist to help him channel his cryomancer powers. Man is the grandmaster of the Lin Kuei. He is the younger brother of the Sub Zero Brothers, you might as well say. But he is not the original Sub Zero. He just took on the mantle after his brother was killed by Scorpion himself. It's a lot to take in. I have to make that thread the OBD. Like, Scorpion ripped his brother's spine out. Fatality. Sub Zero better focus on this. Scorpion is occupied elsewhere. And then his brother became a black man. Here we are now. Scorpion just took that loss from Goku. He has to get into. He has to get back into the game because he's got that TLC match. Dark Schneider called his ass out. Yep, you better rest and recuperate and train what you can because it's going to be a long night when we head into Outworld. It's going to be nonstop. 
Baki will be facing Kauru in this match. And speaking of Scorpion, Scorpion beat this big guy in a fucking cage match at the last Kumite event we had. Yes. 2-0. And also in that battle royal at Brawler's Ball. But never won, never be one to underestimate Kauru Hana Hanayama. Just ask Baki Honda. These two have fought it on many occasions. And Baki it wasn't always the winner. Well, they're gonna fight again tonight. In the over the top rope battle royal. Kauru knowing him, he wants to make Baki the gopher. <laughs> uh, don't jinx him just yet. The match hasn't even started. We know who the women's gopher is. It's going to be Cetrion this year. Uh. <laughs> yes! Jackie's back. I'm glad he's not staying down. You can't let that loss, that brawler's ball, keep you from shining in the light. I think that was my favorite tag team title reign. I would have to agree. The most hilarious tag team title reign as well so hope they can get back into the mix soon maybe in the world martial arts tournament all aboard the mushu train and it is fitting because jackie was in our very first battle royal yes the very first eight pack when he fought with the likes of thanos and shao khan and damn near won it he was like one of the last four, I think. Who will be entrant number seven? Ooh. Uh oh, Guyver announced it. He won a battle royal during the World Martial Arts Tournament to get to that Money in the Bank match. So let's see how he does here. We haven't seen this guy in a long time. I wonder what he's been up to. Characters in this ring right now. We only await the final one. All I hope from, it's not Dark Side. All from different universes. Dark Side emphatically saying that he would win and beat Jetta at Ragnarok. Didn't even want to challenge him in the carnival. So far, he's collected on all his claims. He beat the. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, it's not Dark Side, which again the... tells me how confident he is. He beat the doesn't even think he needs Thanos. to be number thirty. Laid him flat in the steel cage at Brawler's Ball. And this Good man to see Yusuke out here. Part of the spectacular tag team. Really the triple stable that is the Riders of Havoc. Yusuke Urameshi. They did not do well in the Color Wars though. So Yusuke has to get back in the game here. The boy is still young. He still has time to learn. Just as we all did when we were his age.
Doug Schneider will be busy in Outworld. You know what? Yes, he might face Yusuke in the Rumble. Wow. You never know. There's no telling who else we will see in the Royal Rumble at Outworld. I mean, you think about all the other main event matches we have. We got two Rumbles coming. Two Rumbles. <laughs> well, we will. Uh, know, we know who will be first and last in the women's Rumble. Let's see who's going to be first and last in the men's. The Living Champion has put us on such a busy schedule. Oh, that's a bad Ooh. idea from Kaoru. You don't want to go over the top rope on your own accord. Oh! Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I was eliminated. I didn't even see that happen. Yeah, Who eliminated him? It was, it was Yusuke. Oh, oh. Ooh. Well, anyway, Guyver, that's it. He will be number one. He is the gopher this year. Not what Sho Fukumachi wanted, but it's what he's getting. Seven competitors remaining. Some reality warping shit from Baki. Say them words. Say those two words together. You remember what happened the last time we had a match in here with this much intensity? Jackie Chan's in trouble, but he survives. And I'm sure that the ref is oh. ever so thankful that he doesn't have to deal with the match of the likes of this right now. Yeah, the referees are outside the ring in the rumble. Baki's out. Ooh. Baki has been eliminated by M. Bison. But at least he's not the gopher. No, sir. We have six combatants left. Ooh. Trying to nope. Glad to see Link out of the hospital and back to the OD. Sub Zero takes out both Yusuke and Link. Oh, what a drop! Mm. Okay, what's he doing? Oh, Karu's oh. out. Nick is out. Ooh. We are down to four. <laughs> and Yusuke is busted open. Just like that. I like the reason, the rational thinking. I don't have to pin you. I can just kick you out. Well, one of these four will enter number 30. Bison, Jackie Chan, Yusuke, and Sub-Zero. Don't show off, Jackie. You don't want to be on the rope. See, Sub-Zero had the right idea. Yusuke and Bison catching their breath. Nice 
don't take Falcon and arrow. Don't take your eyes off your enemy, use K. Going at it for the title shot in Ragnarok. The final four over the, over the top rope. Oh, now Jack Chan is out. We are down to three. Mm. Spirit Wave Slam to Bison. Kick. Super kick. Now here comes the spirit wave slam. To oh, zero. But that doesn't do you any good on its own. You gotta get him over for the top. Bison's gonna be jacked up on something. Oh! oh. <laughs> Faded! Faded! Wow. We are down to two. Don't do it, man. Don't waste time, Yusuke. Uh oh. Yusuke in the corner now. Mm. Yusuke is out! Wow. Sub-Zero will be number 30. Guyver number one. What a match, man. I can't wait. Who's gonna get the OPT title shot in Outworld? Sub-Zero. Number 30. Damn. You don't know, but Sub-Zero has statistically the best chance. Somebody's going to get a cold shoulder. Congratulations to Sub-Zero. Worth the price in blood, I would think. It's okay. He's cold bloody. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, it is time. The Women's Color Wars final. It's time. And just like on the men's side, it is sudden death. No second chances. Win team. the title or go home. Team Red versus Team White. Winner take all. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Who do you think is going to take it all in this match? I think that question will largely come down to our captains. Recall that Teresa and Lena have fought one time before. That was in the World Martial Arts Tournament this year. Teresa won. She sure did. Although she did not win the entire tournament, she came damn close. Yes, in fact, that was in the semifinal. Teresa would lose the next match to her longtime rival, Motoko Kusanagi, in the final. Very rare loss by Teresa. Very rare. Anyway, Team Red is out. And now all we are waiting for is the team captain.
<laughs> now I do have to say, as good as Lena has been throughout her OBD career, she has not yet had a very big win. As good as she is, do you think that the pressure might get to her sometimes? Sometimes the pressure is what makes you unleash that inner fire inside of you. Sometimes you just have to let go. We're gonna believe, find out. I believe she's got that in her. She just has to believe in herself. Fear is the weapon of the enemy. Indeed, two of her enemies tonight are members of the Empire, who she has had no shortage of run-ins with. Lena has looked great since returning. Will she, she sure look great has. one more time? She has represented her team well ever since the Color Wars has started. Now we await the arrival of the other undefeated team in this final. said fear is the weapon of your enemy it's certainly the weapon of two of these ladies right here that's guaranteed the empire is here along with one half of team Hyrule Princess Zelda also known as Sheik it was good to see Link earlier tonight Although he did not come out on top in that battle royal. And I also, it, I, it, it happens, you know. I was about to say, hey, at least he's not entering the Rumble number one. That's Guyver this year. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. Sub-Zero will be entering number 30. On the women's side, Cetrion will enter first. Zeta will be number 30. The Lin Kuei Grandmaster just got the golden ticket of a lifetime. But that will be an Outworld. This is the final stop to Outworld. What a go-home show we have kicked off tonight. And we it is not, not over. We are not done yet. Remember, we got the OBT Championship match between Luke Skywalker and Jeddah Doma as the main event tonight. This has to be the longest episode we have performed thus far, would you say? It should be up there. At least yeah, on Brawl. Sure. Yeah. Here comes the captain. You know, I guarantee this match will be just as intense as Team Blue versus Team Yellow was. Team Blue really brought their A game in that match. I was surprised at how well they worked doing it. Going, only losing a single member against Team Yellow in that match. I know that was the most intense match of the night thus far. And then we have this match right here. And of Lena course, congratulations. Inverse. Go ahead, mine. Lena Inverse of Team Red and Teresa of Team White. The teams go head to head. Hmm. 
was about to congratulate Goku for being the overall winner of the Men's Color Wars. And you know, that just makes me think. The winner of this match, the team winner of this match, all four members will face each other in another Fatal 4 way. Yep. And it will have the same stipulations as the match before in the men's division. It will be extreme. But that's later. They have to cooperate. The teams have to cooperate one final time before going at it. Man, and if I know Teresa, she's been longing to kick Harley and Ventress in the head for many weeks now. Being at number four in the rankings, I know she wants to make a drastic change. And this is the best time to do that right before Outworld. No more talk. Let's go. It's Anna and Harley to start off. Anna starting off with a power bomb. Ooh. Tonight, so fast. <laughs> There's that smoke again. Ventress isn't happy about it, but all she can do is watch. Go for a ride. I don't know what the hell that was, though. And if I'm Team Red, I want to eliminate Harley as quickly as I can because as you've said many times, she has really been the secondary asset for Team White during this tournament. She is. She is dangerous and she is very underestimated. Just because she may have tapped a few times and lost a couple of titles doesn't mean she doesn't go hard in the paint. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh! Uh oh! 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 Anna, you've got to get out of there. You're in the wrong place, Anna. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh. oh, man. That's not the first time Anna's tasted that. Recall <laughs> that it was the Birds of Prey who defeated Team Frozen at last year's Outworld for the women's tag team titles. Oh. And it's all legal, folks. One, two. Anna kicks out again. She has a lot of spunk, but she's got to get out of there. As she's just tossing her into the apron. Oh! What a slam. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Get out of there. Oh! Teresa nearly took her head off there. Anna, you gotta get the hell out of there. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh! Oh, 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 ah. And now Zelda with that arm breaker. On the loose. Now Zelda's not the legal woman, but it doesn't matter how weak is Anna after that, after all of that. Let me tell you, she might not be the little woman, but it's our little um, Zelda, did she tag? Either way, it's... Well, that we know. Oh, Gabrielle, you're making the same mistake. You can't do that in a match this late in the tournament.
Uh oh. Uh oh. Gabrielle, get out of there. I can't believe she would make the same mistake. Yeah, kid, you in dangerous territory right now. Get out of Dodge. What a slam by Zelda. <laughs> Team White has done a good job of isolating and methodically picking apart Team Red. A united team on all fronts. Getting it done. Of course, we will see Gabrielle and Xena in Outworld. Uh, Harley's not letting that pin happen. Uh oh. Mm. She wasn't going to get it that time. We will also see yeah. Harley in Outworld. Told you, man, that girl is dangerous. Oh, here we go again. Ooh. Nice counter Ooh. by Gabrielle. The longer you're out there, the worse it gets for you. That's small. Ooh, that was close. Uh, you're me. What are you doing? Uh, okay. Do you admire her valor or hate her stupidity? Well, I mean, you know who she teams with. Lena wants the tag, but it doesn't seem to be coming anytime soon. Ooh. Whoa. Now Zelda going for the pin. Wonder Woman in there to break it up. Teresa looking to retaliate. Wonder Woman reverses. Mm. Lena perhaps wisely getting out of Teresa's way. Look at Lena. What is this? <laughs> That would be an elimination in the Royal Rumble. I don't know what that was. Oh, what the hell was that? Lord have mercy. It's getting, it's getting chaotic. <laughs> Ray Wing takes out both of those guys. Uh-oh. Yeah, Lena getting out of dodge. Uh-oh. But now the tables have turned. And Zelda is in the wrong place. Ooh. <laughs> but Gabrielle is so weak at the moment. Oh, God. Powers out of it. Ooh, ooh. Mm. Ah. Reverses. And Gabrielle has to be out of gas. She should tag out. Oh, there's uh -oh. another one of those arm bars. And this ah. time that's the end. It is four to two in Team White's favor. Oh! That was a very needed elimination, but here comes the heavy gun. Ooh. Wonder Woman trying to take her out early, and why wouldn't you? Tracks. 
Oh, right on the jaw. Lena trying to team, cheer her teammate. If there's anybody in the women's division that ever sets the bar higher with each performance, it's got to be Teresa. She stuns me with every match. What's Teresa looking for here? I feel like she senses something. I could be wrong. Now, what do I want You know what? I feel like in the strength department, these two are really even. Damn near. Teresa rolls out of the ring to catch her breath, but uh, she that was that wasn't just to catch her breath. That was to get Wonder Woman in enemy territory. That was close. Uh -huh. Devastating kick, Teresa. Wonder Woman just out, but that is going to leave its mark at the end of the day. Ooh, another, another one. Going for the cover. Oh, impressive so kick out. So close. What's she doing now? Going back into the ring now. That was smart on Wonder Woman's part. Mm -mm. Ooh. What a drop. But how much does Wonder Woman have left after those two kicks? But can she capitalize? Oh, <laughs> out of nowhere. In your face. Oh, but again kicks out. She knows how important this match is. She has been focusing on that jaw area, as you said earlier. As the focal point of her attack. Wonder Woman should tag out. Yes, yeah, she needs to be careful before she gets a decapitator. You know she's got one lying in the chamber. I can just feel it. Teresa again continues to talk ahead. Uh oh, somebody's going for a ride. On that end, it is Lena by herself. Ah, damn. Against Teresa. Stranded. Ooh, that was close. Lena going in. She has no choice. You gotta go all out. Straight up. Ah, oh. Lena has the magic to do it. I know she does. Avoids that kick from Teresa. Merrily. Another one. Uh oh. Yeah. I know you feel that. I missed. Ooh. Oh, what a great buster, though. That had to leave a mark. I don't care if your name is Lena in first. Oh, yeah. You felt every part of it. I guarantee that. Mm. Oh, no. Uh, oh. Straight to the face. She's again targeting that face. And now here comes Harley Quinn. Three versus one.
Ooh. Lena about to sacrifice her own body. I wonder if this is smart, though. Catalina. She has to play it safe at this point, never. Well, then again, no, it's two to That two. worked, but was that, at what price did it work? Green big tilt, Assange Ventures. The pressure is on, Lena. Do you have the big one in you? On the way back to Asajj Ventress. Keep at it, Lena. What choice do you have? But now Ventress Going for that submission. Lena's already been damaged by herself and by Teresa. Ventress relatively fresh. Oh, and now here comes the double team. Straight to pal -tale. This is the smart thing for Team White to do. All stakes match like this, you have to take risks. It's gonna take all. Lena kicks out. Uh, she knows not to go into that area. Lena is smart, she's learned. Just go right into it. Save your energy. But Asajj Ventress. Oh, now she's going to turn the tables and pay back Harley Quinn. This does not look good for Lena Inverse. She's already done this once, and now she's getting it done right back to her. And there's the cover again. Her body has been through enough in this match. When is it going to be enough? What's Ventress doing now? Oh, she has some oh, plunder. No. Oh! Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, with the right wing. You got to admire this girl, Lever. And not just for her skill, but for her stamina, durability, courage, and good power. <laughs> Ventress off the post and again there's another cover but how much damage has Lena taken She's going to have to face a fresh Teresa if she can get past this. Yeah, that's a big if. Oh, oh, oh. The first uh -oh. joke. <sighs> Lena gets out of it. Mm. And how much damage did that do? to the ring.
Vince just trying to tag Teresa. Lena <laughs> says it's not happening. They're not going to turn into a slug fest right now. Oh, another one! Uh oh, force choke. Again gets out of it. Ventress can't believe it. Through sheer power. And I was about to say to your point, Ventress does not want this to turn into a slugfest. You're going to no, lose that won't. kind of match with Lena Inverse. Outmatched and overpowered. You better use that precognition to its fullest ability. I think she went for a third one. Lena saw it coming. Mm. But how much more can Lena take? Venture is signaling that it's over. Don't waste time, girl. Oh, power box. Five, one, two, That's three. it. Team White wins the color wars. And that's it. Lena took so much damage from Teresa and that sledgehammer. But still, she survived two force chokes all the way to the end. But Ventress won it for her team. Oh, and by the way, no toasters were harmed in the making of this video. Well, Team White wins, but there's one more question left to ask. Well... This is the last question. Who's going to be the overall winner of the Color Wars? It is the final Fatal 4-Way of the night. And it is the members of Team White. Quote-unquote friends now become enemies once again. Here we go. Fights. Oh no! Yeah. Oh. Teresa's yeah. like, I'm not getting paid by the hour. Uh uh. She knows she's the freshest one too. She is in no hurry. She is taking her time. <laughs> yeah. I think she's taking some cues from the men's division, especially in the hardcore area. I was about to say that, man. The high mind speaks. She picks Dark Snyder. Oh, no. That was close. Uh-oh. Oh! <laughs> right to the head. The enemies are enemies once again. And Har Zelda oh. nice reversal to Harley. Damn, she fell right on top of Ventress. Oh. <laughs> Another chest. Oh. Oh. Right to the back. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, misses with that kick. Ah, right, Ventress misses. Too slow. Uh oh, hardly now. Oh, Ooh. oh, two kicks at once from Ventress and Teresa. Wow. No mercy. <laughs> you know she's been wanting to do this for since forever, since the wars began. It's yeah, like one of them on the out. same team is Baldy. You get to take out two Empire members at once. Oh, oh. to the <laughs> But, but, Harley Quinn surprised Teresa. Nice attack. No love lost for members of the Empire. Even for 
of their own members. Watch your back. Zelda back in the ring now. Oh, oh another one. Teresa can shit. feel it. Holy shit. <laughs> One on top of the other. Why isn't the referee counting? It's a pin. Oh! One down. Is this what happens when you get to team with Teresa? <laughs> Yeah, they're doing this smart thing, double teamer, or maybe not. Well, that would be the smart thing. Double your efforts and take out the big bad before you focus on the last enemy. Don't take her on as a single file, trust me. You guys need to be united. Teresa's taking on more than one opponent at a time. This is nothing new for her. Oh. And that's it for Paul, I mean for Ventress. Oh, damn, what you dude. doing now? Oh! oh. Dirty. Oh, do you see what's behind? Oh! Oh, she, does, she doesn't even want to pinch. She just wants to knock him out. Stay down. I don't think it's, there's any hard feelings for Zelda and nice land by Zelda. You know, before she was at the bottom of the barrel when it comes to freshness. Oh, that's it! Teresa God. wins the Color Wars on the women's side. Flawless. And everyone in the rumble, watch out. Flawless. That was perfect. She wasted no time and no energy. That was a flex move. Your Color Wars champion on the women's side, Teresa of the Fate Smile. The damage soak is real. What will she use her title shot on? Other than Ragnarok, it is available. I think you know just like I do. It's only a matter of time. And now it's time, ladies and gentlemen, for our last champion carnival match. The OBD Championship match. The main event of the night. Here in Biloxi, Mississippi. Jedi Grandmaster versus Dark Overlord. I wonder how fresh Luke is. He is the number one ranked fighter in the men's division has been all year long he's finally getting his first OBD championship opportunity the very first and you better not waste this opportunity Luke Skywalker versus Jedido who would have thought we would be here getting ready to call this match it is interesting because these two were allies last year of a sort. Now they're finally colliding. 
Yes, but one thing I think we've all learned from history is even allies are short-lived. I wonder what to being Teresa's ally means after what we just saw. Is Motoko hey. sure she wants to form that tag team? <laughs> yeah, man. I don't Anyone? want the fake... I don't want the faint smile treatment if that's what I had to go through. I mean, she took down three people in perfect synchronization. There was, anyway, no, we, there was no flinching in her game. We now await the arrival of the OBD champion. The final match, the champion carnival is here. Jetta Doma has held on to that title for over 320 days. He has been undefeated since Beach Brawl in May of last year. Undefeated. That is the longest record in OBD history. By far. By far. Even As Asura is six months behind. Damn. And then there's Domon Kashu, but that's another story for another time. And you know, I don't think that Jetta has much to worry about when you have a Super Saiyan God at your side, watching your back. I don't think Jetta gives a shit either way. I'm just gonna be honest with you. And I would have to wholeheartedly agree on that. Vegeta has to know that. Goku tried to talk some sense to him earlier tonight, in a way. If Vegeta, were, there's not much you can do. If I were Vegeta, I would talk less and do more. What can Vegeta do? Be the man servant that he was destined to be. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you, Jet has already beaten him twice. How could he even try to do anything? Twice. That's one more time than what he did to Palpatine. The second time was by submission. Yes. Anyway, here comes the OPT Championship match. We're finally here. I wonder how the light side of the force, the Jedi, the Jedi philosophy would match up with Jedha's philosophy, which is, seems to be about peace between all souls, according to him anyway. His version of peace. Peace. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Jedi peace versus Jedi peace. We all remember those sermons with Jesus. And you know what? I miss those sermons. I could use one of those right now. Because the days are getting shorter and the nights are getting longer. Especially when it's daylight savings time. Yes. Anyway, there it is. The OPT Championship. Here we go. No time to waste, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, uh, Luke mm. saw that one coming. That was smart, that Jedi precog. <laughs> oh. Nice start by Luke. Okay. Better start off strong. Damn right. This is the first time these two have faced each other. Very first time. We're already up to a six count. Luke cannot win the title on countout. He has to get back in the ring. Jetta does not want to retain that way either. Champion versus former champion. He was going for a stunner there. 
Ooh. Oh, wow. Jen is getting in his groove now. That is not where you want to be. Oh, sir. Yes. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. And you know the contract. Vegeta has to be rooting against Jetta here. Jetta says as long as he is undefeated, Vegeta is his manservant. He's got to be the most conflicted team in the universe right now. Oh. And Luke doing a great job here. Jetta rolls out of the ring to catch his breath. Vegeta has to be... He won't say it directly, of course, but he has to be rooting for Luke here. Hmm. Maybe he's using the Shatterpoint technique. <laughs> yeah, you, well, you better bring that in a match with Jetta. Hell yeah. He needs total, complete focus. Hmm. Ah. So far, I feel like these two are pretty even. What's oh. Jetta doing? Oh! Ooh. That stopped Luke's momentum cold. <laughs> be nimble, that's what you have to be against Jetta. Oh, nice, yeah. nice dodge nice, nice by up. Luke. Nice but Jetta is still on it. Oh. We're again up to a six count. Luke cannot win the title that way. Yeah, you better get back in the ring. And now Vegeta getting Jetta up. He's just doing his job. But Jetta probably got mad at him. I saw Jetta barking at him. That is the best way to save your face from getting caved in. Save the master. And it is just a brawl on the outside of the ring. It has felt like mm. that throughout this match. We're back into the ring now. He's going for the Makai Buster. Uh huh. Oh no, he nice reversal Ooh. by Luke. He was going for the Makai Power Bomb. I feel like just, we haven't seen that in a while. Just in the nick of time, too. Luke has done a very good job here in this match. Yeah. Not too, oh. Not too many people get this far with Jetta Doma, and you I and agree. Oh, that. Hell. Jesus was gone by now. Not too many people ever make him bleed. Just ask Reptile. There's the first cover of the match. Jenna kicks out. Keep on it, Luke. Yeah, you better go high risk. Focus. You're there against Jenna Doma. You have to take that risk. Don't get frustrated. But it's caught Ooh. and reversed. Luke staggering back to his feet. That one knocked the wind out of him. Oh. oh. Just like that, Luke is on very shaky ground. Jenna smells blood. Is it with oh, the Makai Buster! Damn. One, two, three. That's it! That felt like the Gita Cybers match earlier tonight. Wow. Those shatter points were on point tonight, but. Once again, the noble philosophy wins. Still not enough. <laughs> you don't see many people swinging Jetta around like that. No, that's one of that's a first to me. 
from my recollection. It, it might be. I think that was as close as Luke came, but he only got a two count. Hmm. This might then be the there was this. And that was all she wrote. Vegeta was cheering, but you know how wounded he is deep inside. Still your OPD champion. Vegeta Doma. Congratulations, young sir. He's 6,000 years old, though. I guess that's young for a demon. Probably. Anyway, everybody, we want to thank you for joining us here. Wait a minute. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, not at this. Oh, what kind man. of lesson is he trying to... Oh. What the? <laughs> what the? You don't, say. don't tell me. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh my God! What? See you in Outworld! Oh my god! Goku versus Jedi in Outworld! <laughs> 